The star of radio's top secret seemed unlikely to end up as a Hollywood personality. Alana Hamassi, known by her stage name of Alana Massey, was born in Budapest on June 16th in either 1910 or 1912. Her family in Budapest, Hungary, was abysmally poor. However, Alana looked beyond her humble beginnings and worked towards a dream of being an opera singer. At 14, she went to work as a seamstress for about $12 a week and parceled out a bit of her hard-earned money for singing lessons. It wasn't just her singing that turned heads. The blonde and blue-eyed Alana was exceptionally beautiful. Certainly that helped her hopes for a career on the stage. As a young adult, she went to Vienna to try her luck at the city opera and worked as an understudy. According to one Hollywood biography, she got her chance when she went on stage for an ailing star. Others say that she was discovered by a Hollywood talent agent for MGM while singing at a party. But in any case, she found herself in Hollywood contracted to MGM in 1937. Massey would learn English even while performing in movies. Within two years, she'd become fluent in English and was taking on larger roles. None of her movie roles were major hits, but her lovely singing voice and blonde bombshell figure kept her working in the business whether in movies, on stage, or in some radio spots from the late 1930s through the 40s and most of the 50s. Her sultry voice and foreign accent may have been what suggested her for the lead role of Baroness Karen Gazer in the radio drama Top Secret. She continued her acting after Top Secret with some additional movies and television appearances. Alana was married four times. Three were youthful and brief marriages, but the fourth in 1955 was to a highly placed Air Force officer, Donald Dawson, one-time aide to Harry S. Truman. Now, Hollywood's a long way from Washington, D.C., but it may be that Alana met Donald while picketing against communism at the Capitol. She had brought family members to the United States from Hungary, and the experiences they shared about life under communism rule turned her into an activist. Alana once remarked that she was a simple girl and probably always would be. Her early years of abject poverty caused her to be content with a roof over her head, clothes to wear, and enough food to eat. She seemed unsuited for the fairy tale world of Hollywood, and her plain speaking was not always considered proper for a star. This may be why, after her marriage to Donald, she made few acting appearances and settled into a life of the wife of a politically connected retired military man. Alana Massey passed away on August 20th, 1974, at Bethsaida, Maryland, after a brief illness. She was survived by her husband, and they had no children. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.